Uh, currently, though, the world's ATC system is relying predominantly on, 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 on entirely radar-based systems. So the position reporting is very archaic, you can almost say. So with the evolving of the technologies, we have something that is now called space-based ADSB. So the same technology that is ADSB-based can now be received from space instead of from the ground. So you receive the same signals. And this is being used over the North Atlantic tracks, for instance, already today. And many ATC systems are evolving into the space-based ADSB surveillance systems. Uh, it's great for, the, for them because they would have a higher resolution um, for aircraft separation and surveillance, making airspace congestion go away or, or reduced, and, and, and it's much, much more better for them. However, the operator needs access to that data as well. There is some access to space-based ADSB for an operator, but why does he need to get it? Well, operators were never responsible to track their aircraft, right? So until recently, until ICAO introduced what they know as the Global Aeronautical Distress and Safety System, their rulemaking and recommendations to track aircraft in ICAO Annex 6, now the operator is responsible to track their aircraft. And, and the quote from, from Section 3.5.1 of the ICAO Annex 6, it states that the operator shall establish an aircraft tracking capability to track airplanes throughout its area of operation. So now we have operators being responsible to track their aircraft at any given moment of their flight. So what technologies are out there that could help with tracking the aircraft? Well, as ICAO's recommendation now was to track aircraft only every 15 minutes for a particular aircraft type and a type of operation, um, many airliners and OEMs they did not want to invest and change anything on the aircraft to make this happen. So as much as possible, they were wanting to uh, attempt to use existing systems that are on the aircraft to, to, to enable the position reporting. So they used a combination of systems such as ADSB and ACAS messaging to enable the position reporting on the ground so an OCC could have the position report of the aircraft. The problem is with these combinational systems is that they are often spotty with gaps in communication, for instance, over land or over water, and the combination thereof can sometimes cause headaches because you don't know who, which system is not reporting accurately. Um, plus, you have the additional capability of the pilot being able to turn off these systems on, in, in the cockpit and on the aircraft. This causes further disruptions of position reporting. So actually, the most reliable system is the satellite-based tracking system. Um, particularly that of Theridium, and as it's available globally, it's uh, the further north and south you go on the globe, you would still have connectivity with Theridium, even over the poles. Not every other satellite system can, can claim that. And so, what are the advantages? Well, since it's LEO, since it's low Earth orbiting, you don't need as much power to send uh, from the aircraft in order to do this as well. So it's low power consumption devices. Uh, lower, smaller antennas usually as well. They send the position reports at an interval that the airliner can decide how often they want to receive it. And it typically, it runs under its own power as well, autonomously. So that means that it can stay on for the entire flight, no matter what happens. So you can always receive reliable position reporting. So what accidents and events in the history has now impacted this change to come about? Well. Um, Air France 447 and MH370, the disappearance of it, uh, well, it, it started the whole GADS initiative and the whole progress towards better aircraft tracking and better ATC surveillance. Even so far as knowing where is the end of my flight, where is the last location of, uh, known to this flight. These things are started with, whole, with this whole GADS concept and the GADS initiative. GADS meaning the Global Aeronautical Distress and Safety System. So what is it? What does it do? Why, did, why is it there? And how is it helping us? And how does it affect my or your flight operations? Well, these are things I'd like to talk about in my next phase.